but it definitely worked. But my question is, is you just referenced a, uh, you know, like an aluminum tolerant variety or something. So are you familiar with the aluminum tolerant variety C that is, you know, based for tropics because of the high acidity soil? And what are your thoughts on that? Okay, the question about aluminum. There's a whole lot of aluminum. I think it's the second most common element in the world. Because of industrialization, aluminum dust is coming out of China, comes across to the U.S., crosses the U.S., crosses the Atlantic, Europe, and goes all the way around to China again. The dust goes everywhere. Aluminum dust is occurring in high levels worldwide. So there was a, there was a, um, some stuff raised by the genetic modifiers, should they modify the plants to withstand higher aluminum levels or take advantage of the aluminum? I don't know too much about that, but industrialization is almost synonymous with aluminum dust and aluminization of the soil. What about chemtrails? Don't get me started on that. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole, that's whole, whole topic worms. in itself. <laughs> no, that, that's that's too much. Week. Next week. Next week. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> too much too soon. I, I have comments about that, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, yeah. don't, it's a mess. Don't start that yet. Oh, give us a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Sure. I was asked by Maui. They said they saw chemtrails every day. So I went to them and I said, you really do? They said, oh, yeah, I can see them. I can see them. I said, well, I'm not sure, but you can see them. So they kept diaries. Three people kept diaries. One did a remote satellite. I can see chemtrails, chemtrails. For three months. They kept diaries each day, north coast of Maui, different people. I had a student who needed a project. She caught rainwater every day. I talked to the guys in California, Dane Wiggins or something. He said, after it rains, you can inspect the thing, don't wait too long. They spray the chemtrail, you catch it. Some days, no rain. Some days, too much rain. But we got enough days with just amount of rain. Sent it off to the lab to test for aluminum, blindly. And they listed all the different levels. Then I met them and said, okay, what do you think? I want you to list your diary high, medium, low. See if there's a correlation with the aluminum level. First of all, there was no high aluminum level, and there was no correlation in anybody's diary. But if you read the literature, chemtrails, you're supposed to put aluminum gas, it combines with oxygen, makes aluminum particles, reflects the light. Right. Okay, you can do the same thing with seawater. When we initially looked at depleted uranium in 2001, it was clear my phone was tapped. The, the state senators said their phones were tapped too. I told the guys, don't tell me by phone when we're going to do the project. I'm supposed to meet you in a cafe. So it's so easy to disprove everything because when we do our study, you spray with seawater. You get the same visual effect. And then, of course, you don't show aluminum, so therefore you just Disproved chemtrails. I told them, never contact me for oh, or call me about, oh, we're finished with the study. We're going to start the study. So what I'm trying to say is there's a terrific way to monitor for aluminum. It's cheap. It's pretty good. But if they catch wind of you monitoring, it's spray with seawater. Disprove it. But we saw no correlation whatsoever with the three diaries and the remote satellite sensing for aluminum. Baron Strong came with the other markers. Yeah, you can. But anyway, look, you take a look, you give it your fair shot. <coughs> you know, that's how we all agree. This is the study. Yeah, we agree. Is that study. diabolical? Say again? Is that diabolical? Oh, hey. That's real life. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to hear about it. We didn't have here. I had a fellow behind the bus who worked at the airport and went in with his and took some pictures inside of a plane doing the chemtrail oh, yeah. at Hilo Airport. Now, I heard through the grapevine that somebody forgot to turn off their chemtrail emitter yeah. and landed. I saw that one. Whoa, talk about the smoking gun. If you can pin that down, then that's very different. Okay, so figure out who reported that. Why are they doing that? That's oh, well, first of all, to me, because it was published in Science News, um, and David Keith, or Keith David, he gave a TED talk on this. It's a great way to cool the earth by reflecting off the light. And it's cheap and easy to do. And his point was that 
I hate to tell you guys you can do this, because it's like telling a guy who smokes, I got a cure for lung cancer, so the guy never quits. But the bottom line in the article is some guys die of chemotherapy of lung cancer. Exactly. So David Keith says, hey, I tell you we can solve this by chemtrails, but we might die of the effects, because although you reflect the heat, you still got acid from the CO2 you burn and you acidify the ocean. There's plenty of stuff you're going to die of still yet. So he felt really bad about saying you can do it, but you can do it for cheap, reflect sunlight off. Then there's all these people who say it's for mind control and stuff. Just reflection of sunlight is not. Okay.